Welcome to the Believe Podcast Network SoCal Sweat. My name is Ann McDaniels, a former NFL cheerleader and product manager turned actress and model who dreams of being a UFC fighter. Meow. Learning strategies to help motivate others leads me to bring you interviews each week from a range of athletes, experts in fitness and nutrition, and so much more. Thanks for listening to Believe, the number one podcast for working professionals, and let's push our endorphins to higher performance through SoCal Sweat. This is your host, Ann McDaniels, and welcome to another episode of Believe SoCal Sweat. Today, we are going to be talking about gift giving. People are stressed out about the holidays right now. We have so many issues in our country as far as supply chain and certain toys not getting made. Maybe we've outsourced and we cannot get those materials at all, especially with parents and toys. Well, I did have a friend um, that I talked to last week and he, he told me that he and his wife only buy three gifts for their kids. One is what they need, another one will be what they want, and a third is something the whole family can enjoy. And I thought that was a really good way to pare things down. But if this was ever a year to start giving experiences for Christmas rather than physical possessions, this is certainly the year. And I just want to offer some really creative and fun ideas to give your loved ones, family, friends, gifts that are not materialistic and not something they have to unwrap or you can package it up in a certain way, but rather experiences because, you know, during this pandemic, we have realized over and over and over again that experiences and living life is more important than objects. Although we definitely like to open gifts and it's the thrill of it, especially for kids. But there are some great experiences that people can enjoy. It goes from adventurous to interesting, academic to artsy, and even some uh, sexual, romantic ones in there. So let's get started. Now, there's a lot of pride and creativity when it comes to giving someone a gift of an experience. And a couple things that you can do right away, and you can do it locally. Let's just say you live in New York City, Los Angeles, in the Midwest, anywhere. You can really support your local businesses. Let's say, for example, you are married to somebody who loves mixology, great drinks. Well, you could check out a great bar that you guys always go to, maybe a mixology place, and you can pull the bartender aside and who wouldn't love to be hired for a private lesson at their local, at your local pub or local speakeasy or what have you. And you could buy that person an experience of how to mix really good, really interesting four cocktails or some bartending tips that they can really use, but making interesting drinks. Maybe they love whiskey. Maybe they can find four different recipes and make them to the nines and impress your guests when people come over. So, you know, it's a great way to shop and buy locally and support your local restaurants, pubs, and again, that will be to also help workers, especially workers in bars and restaurants that could really use the help. And then that partner could make, be the bartender for all the uh, parties at your house anyway, and you don't have to lift a finger, and they would love it in the meantime. And what a great way to show off. So you can go to your favorite bar and ask your bartender if they'd be open to having you pay for a lesson. Or you could hire a sommelier from your favorite restaurant to come teach you about wines. And if you have a great meal at a restaurant, ask the manager if there's anyone from the kitchen whom you could hire for a cooking class, especially the sous chefs. They would love that and they would relish the opportunity to go to someone's house and break down some of their favorite meals. Or teach them how to cook a few dishes that they enjoyed at that restaurant. And you can really get maybe the secret recipe out of them. Um, although be careful of if you hire anyone from Moreos in Little Italy, Italy of New York City, you may get killed if you share their secret recipes. Uh, not only are these experiences like these are interactive, but they're flexible and you can kind of make it with your own schedule. And they can be an intimate date night or you can make it a big group about with friends. And if you're nervous about approaching a chef or bartender for lessons, don't be because if you're respectful and kind, they will love you for asking, and the odds are they will be very flattered that the fact that you did ask and, you know, you acknowledge their experience and their education. And how about if you have someone on your gift list that's really into style? And this is another way that you can support your local businesses. Of course, you can go to Nordstrom's or Anthropology or a really high-end men's store, whatever you want to do. But if someone's really into style and they love somewhere local, you can approach an extra chic or stylish salesperson 
at one of your favorite retail stores and ask them if they consult on a personal styling session for clothing, wardrobe. You can also do this at a salon or maybe even um, a manicure, pedicure place to teach you how to do some of these things on your own, but of course go to them you know, for, for touch-ups and things like that. Or you could go to a florist and ask one of the staff if you can hire them to teach you and someone else how to make arrangements, beautiful arrangements for the home. And even more so, maybe you have a green thumb. You can go to a garden store and see if someone will give you and your pal or your partner, a friend, a gardening tutorial in the spring. And as an extra bonus, by approaching experts in your community, again, you're shopping locally, and they'll really appreciate that. Because you can always do, you know, any of these chef subscriptions and have them sent, but I think an experience would be great. And again, these people really, really would appreciate your um, giving them business. I love the sports stuff. If you have a friend who loves sports, if you love sports, let's say it's hockey, football, you name it, baseball, basketball, you can buy tickets and you could put them in some kind of a box with a jersey. And maybe you could add some, something extra special like an autograph from a favorite NFL player or just put in some memorabilia. Or you can just get a little gift certificates to the concessions. You can do it on the affordability side um, if you can't buy tickets, but you can also do something like getting a backstage pass or tour for maybe you and your father to go back into the um, Dodger Stadium or Yankee Stadium, whatever, wherever you live. And you could also do not only the majors, but the minors. A lot of people love the minor leagues and supporting their teams locally. So why not make a fun gift certificate out of it? Spend a Sunday afternoon and do that. You can add, again, a hat in there, a jersey, homemade gift certificates for burgers and drinks, maybe. Or you could do a Sunday afternoon to watch a game at a local bar, and you could do a gift certificate for that. Anything sports related is always really fun to do. Or you could hire some of the cheerleaders to come and sign autographs and give you a backstage tour, too. I know that we did a lot of these kinds of things when I was an NFL cheerleader as well. And a lot of times people doing bar mitzvahs will hire um, you know, NFL cheerleaders or NBA cheerleaders to come in and dance. So just experiential, fun things to do. And furthermore, with sports, you can go to, you can get people gifts to get for driving ranges or even dates for driving ranges. Um, batting cages, that's so much fun. Um, derbies, you can do um, go-karts, things like that. Or for people that love speed, which I do, you can get them gift certificates or a day at the track. How much fun. And you could get like the BMW driving experience or go test drive a Tesla. Or in the big cities like LA and New York, we, we can get these platinum motorsports. You can rent like an Aston Martin, a Lamborghini, a Ferrari for the day. And what a fun thing to do. Drive up the Malibu coast. These are like sexy, fun, romantic dates. Or just for a guy in your life, a girl in your life, whatever you want to do. And they will definitely appreciate that. How about entertainment junkies? You can do an elevated movie night. You can buy gift certificates for the movies that you think they'll love, and you can sneak in homemade caramel popcorn, or you can put in gift certificates for the concessions again, or you can make a really cool theme night at home. You can watch the movie at home, just stream it, and like for example, put on the new James Bond movie, No Time to Die. And then you could do like a little theme thing where you can serve your friend or your date a Cuban meal that you prepared for yourself, or you prepared it yourself or anything. Maybe it could be a fun 80s night and you could do like 80s snacks and things like that. People love, and people love to indulge and escape, but it just kind of gets away from the mundane and, and that gives you an excuse to hang out together and there's nothing better than just being social. Now, there are so many skills that people love and can learn and people can teach. Um, you could learn a new skill and teach your loved one. You can invest a bit of time into learning the basics of, for example, tango, back to um, things that you can do together. YouTube is amazing for learning anything yourself and you can teach that. Or you can gift, gift somebody a tango or Argentinian or any kind of a ballroom dancing night, a cooking class together, an art class together, and let's just say that you go out, tango, you go out dancing together and then you can go to an amazing restaurant that has that same theme. You could do some kind of a book a book theme. If people, for the literature lovers in your life, get some kind of a book gift certificate for audiobooks or maybe a book signing, something like that. And then let's just say they love a particular book. Maybe you can give them an experience at a restaurant where that maybe that book took place or around the food and cuisine or you know any kind of activity that was around that um, type of book or movie that they love. So again, you can do something that put your heart into it 
and gives them something that would be with them and spending the day with them. There are so many other things and I have like over hundreds, but I want to just keep carrying things down. But how about the outdoorsy person in your life? You can go to an, you can get them a gift certificate for an annual state or national park pass. That's always beautiful. They can go whenever they want. Again, back to those art lovers, a membership to a local art museum, or maybe just a day or a weekend, or maybe there's a really specialty, like I love black and white fashion photography, and I wanted to go to the Helmut Lang um, exhibit, and it's just, it's amazing things that you can do. Again, back to those cars. I live near the Otto Peterson Museum or any type, type, types of cars museum, car museums or days where you could go to the Pebble de Concours or the beautiful car shows that are like the high ends. Things like that. Really think about the person you're buying for and get really creative. So many things you can do. And kids go crazy over little gift cards for their favorite ice cream shops or pizza places or of course any of those bounce house places, those um, amazing trampoline we can go in and do those indoor trampolines like the, those um, kids parks. Amazing. Or even like the water parks during the summer that is so much fun. Of course there's Disneyland. Who doesn't want an annual pass to Disneyland? Sometimes it can get expensive. Or Six Flags or Valley Fair. Any types of amusement parks you have. But that's a wonderful um, gift certificate for kids. Or you can just get them, you know, a night to Disney on ice. Things like that. And also for kids, lessons, piano lessons, dance lessons horseback riding lessons, something they really enjoy, or maybe a private lesson with a baseball coach or a, a gymnastics coach or a gym, gymnastics professional. They would love that, or adults love that too. Any kind of fun board games and movie, like you could do like a board game night and have an amazing party with snacks and gift someone, someone something like that. And you can spark your wanderlust without leaving your couch with a copy of Comfortably Wild. This is the best glamping destinations in North America. Maybe some people don't like to camp, but they love to glamp. And it's also a stunning coffee table book that features fabulous tree houses, air streams, domes, and more. That would be like, you know, Swiss Valley and Robinson, something really fun. But back to the camping, you can't go wrong with that either. But how about like a Costco membership? Besides a store, it's a lifestyle, it's a membership. And of course you can get, you can go in with them if you don't have a membership yourself. Concert tickets are always amazing. You could even gift someone just the local concert. Sometimes if you can't ex afford to go to, like, you know, if Metallica is going to tour again or um, any kind of a big concert. I, of course, I always go to Metallica. I love heavy metal concerts. But, you know, maybe you can't afford a Foo Fighters or, you know, a big concert like that. A Beyonce. Maybe you can't afford Ariana Grande for your kids. You can also get the locals, maybe do the Art Heart Radio or the little concert tours, or do your local bands in a, in a pub or a little concert place and you can gift them with an experiential night of music. Who doesn't love that? And hotels do gift cards. Get a couple or someone you love that you can, they can, you can, you can use towards their next vacation or flight. Wine and beer tasting is amazing at local breweries, wine shops, Napa Valley, Temecula, anywhere. People love going wine tastings or beer tastings. And you can always pair that with a little box of like some wine glasses or some beer sifters. And maybe you can go to Trader Joe's and get it on the cheap, get four different beers or four different wines and put it in a little in a little case and then give them um, a wine tour or something just, or like a private at a wine shop. Coffee, people love coffee. If you live anywhere near a Starbucks um, Reserva, they do private um, lessons and they do like a private little tutorial on their coffees. And if it's not Starbucks, go to any kind of coffee shop that is a local. Again, you would be supporting them and your barista will be happy to share their knowledge and love to share with you and teach you how to make drinks at home. Even if you don't have the $6,000 machines, which my neighbor has, um, you know, you can do little things like learning how to make the best cold brews, things like that, or learning about co coffees that are the best, maybe the lowest acidic, um, the highest caffeine contents, things like that. Just very fun, experiential. You could also check out a local dinner theater in your area. There are amazing local dinner theaters, and of course you are supporting local artists, and that's such a romantic, fun, kind of old-fashioned thing to do. And after that, why not check out a really fun speakeasy, like a really fun 20s, 30s whiskey bar, uh, you know, just in a secret area. You could also make a little fun um, 
sort of a game night out of it, like where they're going, kind of a mystery night. Blindfold them, make it fun. You could book a food tour in your own city. There are so many where I live in Los Angeles. You can do the junk food tour. You can do the macaroni and cheese tour. Look at what your local restaurants are providing or even the local food trucks. You could do like a, a food tour uh, at the food trucks. That is really fun for people that are foodies. And you could also create a mini day spa. You can get someone a pass and make it yourself, like with a, with a manicure, pedicure, and maybe even a champagne bar. Things like that, at a, at a massage. And really look at your local places and make it a creative thing. You could actually literally go to the dollar store and put something in a little box with a loofah and some lotion and then with a little note saying you have been gifted a mini day spa and make a fun day of it. The person that you love will really enjoy it. Even if you have a, your, your own girlfriends, your own friends, your college buddies, or what have you, or your kids, that would be really fun. How about plan a weekend at a cabin or a hotel a few hours away or even in your local city, a staycation. Just getting out of your actual environment is so much fun and it takes you away and it's just a mental, just takes away the mental stress and just kind of clears the mind so you can go back to work on Monday and feel great, you know, or after the holidays. What about a sushi making class? I myself love sushi and I've tried to make sushi before, but taking it from a Japanese chef or someone that is fantastic at sushi, I mean, sushi is an actual art. Or even besides sushi, making chocolates, anything that's sort of an elevated type of food, making the best mushrooms or the best soups. You could take it from, you know, again, a sushi, making the best brews, or maybe someone that's from the South, teach, you know, have them come in and teach you Southern cooking. People love to feel needed, and again, you'll be supporting anybody local. You can plan a scavenger hunt or treasure hunt for your kids. They will love this, and then you can make really fun, creative ideas to go to their favorite pizza place or their favorite amusement park or just their favorite store, and they can pick out a treat or, you know, their favorite, go to Legoland, they can pick up something like that. But again, think about the kids in your life and what toys they want and maybe what toys are not coming in due to supply chain issues. Don't get stressed out about it. Kids love spending time with you as well. And sometimes they just open a gift just to open the gift and then it gets thrown away. And sometimes they like the wrapping paper more than that. I mean, look at animals. I know my sister's cat, she would get the cat a gift. I'm not really a big cat person, but it'll be, it'll have more fun with a cardboard box than it will with a gift. So sometimes it's just the experiences of things like that. Um, again, give a gift card to a, a favorite local restaurant, a local pub, anything that they love locally, a VR room, a virtual, virtual reality experience. Who doesn't love an escape room? Gift a group of people or your loved one an escape room. It's much better to do um, in a group setting. It's really fun. Or you could get them some kind of a, you know, a mystery novel and then take them to an escape room. Escape room. Make it like a, like a double, triple effect where they are curious as to what they're going to do next. It's really fun. It does take some creativity, but you can do it. And again, it just shows who you are and that you put more effort into that gift. Go to a comedy show. Oh my God, I, that's one of my favorite things to do is going to a comedy show. You can do something fun, like gift them, like, I don't know, like a whoopee cushion and then say, you know, you're, I'm taking you to a comedy show. I mean, that's obviously cliche, but just something fun. Um, and then an improv comedy show. And if they, maybe this person wants to get in, into improv, excuse my uh, hot rod deluxe out there outside, um, an improv comedy show where you can get them, them on stage. I don't know, take someone to a, um, maybe someone loves the gift of pole dancing. They want to learn how to pole dance. And you could get, get, give them a gift of the pole dancing and hey, take them to a, take them to like a strip club and do um, an amateur night and have them get up and, and, you know, show their skills. And they wouldn't have to take their clothes off, obviously, but just do the, you know, show off those skills on a pole. It might be kind of fun. How about a gift card to Libro, uh, which is the first audiobook company that allows you to buy audiobooks through local booksellers. So that's Libro.fm. Or just any kind of a book place where you can go to some of the book bookstores that are actually still open and gift them some kind of a book signing or maybe a tour of the books and literature or even the local library. People love to showcase those kinds of things. How about does your parent always talk about a dream vacation, like eating their way through Italy or exploring India's colorful cities or hiking in Patagonia? Offer them to help them plan. Or if you've got some extra cash scrolled away, take them there, gift them a trip. I mean, obviously this is pretty expensive, but maybe get, get them started on a trip. Or if someone's looking to, to travel, 
pay for someone's passport. Maybe they have not updated their passport. I myself have not, and I need to do that right right now, actually, and help them navigate the, the application process. Right now, of course, with the Omic, you know, Omicron and um, the Delta variant, it's hard to travel, but you can still do a lot of things locally or just within our own nation. And again, I, I just I refuse to be scared. I don't want to like let my life go just because of, of the of the pandemic. So give them something like that or just maybe for the future. What about a Spotify member membership? You can crank those tunes ad free all year long or do that for YouTube or Pandora or anything else. And they can do the podcast for free. Again, commercials are really annoying as we know and it's a great membership. How about take a day trip to a cute small town with antique stores or quaint breakfast spots and dive bars? It's just so fun to get out of your city and go somewhere that's even like a like a, a town that's kind of spooky or scary. I myself love anything haunted. I'll go I'll go anywhere haunted. If you can give me a haunted tour, you've got me for life. Or for those people on your list that are a bit more normal. It might be fun to go to a really pretty place away from where you live. You don't have to travel very far, but maybe go out in the country, go to another area, some far out suburb or town and stay stay at an Airbnb or a really pretty bed and breakfast, kind of an old fashioned place and get to know the area. It's very romantic. And if you're giving it to your significant other, your lover, it would be so fun to almost kind of create the notebook, you know, go to an area that's off the beaten path, stay somewhere kind of old fashioned and do things that are just different. Like do a bicycle built for two or just rent bicycles and go through the countryside and make a picnic, things like that. I know it sounds really cheesy, but it can be really fun and romantic. And you could also get a tour of the town and the museums and the historical land points. Maybe your friend or lover loves anything in history. That might be a great thing to do. Or even if you travel, give them historian gifts, museums, places that are major historical landmarks. Now going from romantic to angry, I forgot to mention in the earlier sports and experiential ones that um, besides the batting cages and driving ranges for golf, um, the, you know, any kind of driving like race cars or motorcycles, you could also do the sh shooting ranges and also axe throwing. And one of my favorites is the anger room. There is a place called the, Ra the Rage Room in Los Angeles and you can just like break concrete and throw things across the room and scream and it's a really great way to um, take out mental stress and anguish especially during the holidays when people are not uh, kind of uh, behaving as you would like them to be and their expectations or your expectations of them have not risen to your level or beyond or maybe they're disappointed in you take yourself to that rage room or give someone else the gift of releasing their anger in a rage room I just had to I forgot to mention that earlier and staying on the subject of sports and fitness, there are so many things that you can gift people in an experiential way. You can get them a gift certificate to ClassPass where they can get any kind of classes that they want and experiment and do all kinds of great things to um, see what, what, what they love. And it's always good to trick your body, as we know, to do different types of fitness, to not um, just to use different muscles and to trick your body. You could also do lessons for horseback riding or just take them there. A hot air balloon ride, bungee jumping, um, you know, zip lining and skydiving how much fun would that be a helicopter tour and for people that love yoga and pilates a gift card for a local yoga studio there's also many things that you can get private lessons for like tennis again football indoor rock climbing is really huge you could also day, do a day cruise or sunset cruise um planetarium or science museum but i love the gift of sports um, and any kind of action which would be amazing and you could also do a float tank. This is perfect for anyone who doesn't get enough rest and relaxation. You could also do any kind of cryogenic lab, um, any kind of spa treatment like that that is more into the health aspects. You could also do like a tarot card reading. I don't know, Some, a lot of people are into that. Um, that might be kind of fun also. On the other side of the fitness could be a subscription to the Calm app where, or any kind of therapy app where someone could get a little more um, peace in their lives and who can't use that in this day and age. You could also take a train ride, something kind of romantic and fun. You could do a short scenic trip or book a weekender on Amtrak, even Greyhound, the bus. I mean, warning, warning. If you don't love it, it can make you appreciate air travel again, which nobody really wants to do because of the rage, but at least you're staying away from air travel and doing something different at this time. Um, like I said before, anything haunted, 
give someone a ghost tour. And then and back to that golfing, top golf, bowling, ice skating, roller skating. Like, so much fun for that. It, or just a place to a pool. And again, I mentioned the salt cave. And you can whisper out about whether or not you think it actually works. Because, I mean, this is a little psychosomatic, but a lot of people swear by it. And does your town have a sauna co-op? You could do that. The, the Russian banyas are always amazing. And try an ancient bath ritual. And again, there's always the, the recipe box prescription or subscription, like Blue Apron or HelloFresh. You can give them a code and they can order and they, don't, they can just cook for themselves and they don't have to go out and just, it's a little, another little way to indulge. But I do like the local restaurant supporting local idea. You can give the Dark Sky app, which it's, it's a we- high weather radar that gets hyper local and it costs $3.99 to give to a weather person who's obsessed. I myself am a storm chaser and I think I would like that app. Um, more would be take a family member recipe and see if an older relative can teach you that family recipe. That's something that your great grandma or your grandma would really love to do with you. That would be really fun and special and during that time they can tell you about their lives and on a deeper level and you can really bond with them. And you can find an author that someone really loves and make sure that they get to the book signing and buy them that book. And also any kind of crafting, the knitting, sewing, or crocheting class. A lot of people love going to the pottery classes. Give somebody, somebody a gift certificate for something like that and then they can take something home or join a group. Some people love cribbage and decks of cards. They love gaming. And if you can get a small enough one, they're easy to travel too and a great bullet journal. Those are always fantastic. And like I said before, with the, with the cars and the automotives, test drive a Tesla, and it's you can put it in ludicrous mode for zero to 60 in 2.4 seconds, and try the autopilot if you're on some kind of a track. Again, a flower arranging class, and DIY bitters kits for the perfect gift for a, a cocktail aficionado again. And axe throwing, I did mention that. It's so much fun. Aerial yoga, any kind of gymnastics, any kind of Cirque du Soleil, that's an amazing gift. Again, plan that picnic, even if it's cold, you can host one on the living room floor, totally hot, totally sexy, um, in front of a fireplace. And also, while you're doing that, you can give someone the gift of Kama Sutra, absolutely. And there's also like sexual yoga that you can have someone come over and help you. I mean, it's like, hey, you can get, you can gift anything right now. So it might be kind of fun and interesting for a couple or maybe someone who's struggling with their relationship. It might be kind of interesting. Um, there's also just get a great cookbook for someone that you have maybe had, had an interesting adventure together. Maybe you took a trip together to Tuscany or something like that. You could get them some kind of a, a beautiful Italian cookbook and maybe circle recipes in there that you guys had enjoyed and then maybe take them out to a restaurant and kind of recreate that or go over to their house or bring them over to your house. You guys can cook together and do that. Um, so many other things, but again, lessons for, for sports, learning how to cross country ski, downhill ski, snowboard. You could, you could gift someone a Japanese tea ceremony. Um, a lot of larger cities have things like this at a local tea shop or even at a conservatory or library. Or of course, you know, we have little Tokyo and Los Angeles and of course in New York City as well, but other, other um, places. You can also give the gift of Hulu, Netflix, HBO, Go Disney Plus, any streaming service. And those improv classes are great. And also you can book a farm stay and lend a hand gathering eggs and caring for animals. Or just stay at a bed and breakfast on a farm and pretend that you helped, if nothing else. And it's really cool also, speaking of animals, um, a lot of people love the goat yoga. I myself would probably not like that because I really don't like yoga. But the goats are awesome. Um, The petting zoos are great. And also, you know, in the fall or summer, whatever, there's berry picking and apple picking. You could do as a family with your kids or just a romantic loved one. And I believe it's called youpick.com. And you can check out your local farms and see um, what they have to offer as far as tours or how, what you can do. Yes, it's called youpick.com. And you can put in your zip code and find your local farm or area where you can uh, take place with that and experience these, these great things. And just a few more things. An adult coloring book. You can give someone with that. That would be experiential. And then you could go to their house and you have a coffee date or, or, or some, you know, a lot of people love to sit around and drink wine and do that kind of stuff. That might be kind of fun. And you could create a gift of a home wine or beer tasting experience where obviously I talked about, you know, getting them a sommelier or a beer master or any kind of a mixologist, but you could buy a selection of the, of the same genre of wine or you could get them a do-it-yourself kit at home where they can brew their own beer. There's also a lot of people like to do the at-home kombuchas. That can be a real hashtag fail if you don't do it correctly. And I had a friend that tried to start his business and it didn't really take off the ground and there was kombucha everywhere. 
absolutely everywhere. The gift of music. Who doesn't want to go get an electric guitar lesson? And also there's an adult camp. It's, a, it's an adult music camp where you can go and just like rip the heavy metal and just go crazy. And people love doing this kind of, kind of thing. And if you can afford it, get a professional musician, a, re a real pro, to come over and help you. You can hire someone to do some of the astrological proof chart and have it mapped out. That would really, really be the same as a tarot card reading or anybody who does numerology, something like that. You could also hire someone, a house cleaning service. This would be an amazing gift for somebody that is really too busy or perhaps they had an injury or they're handicapped or they're just, maybe they've gotten quite sick from the pandemic and they have are in, um, they have residual symptoms or they're very tired and, or they're getting older. This would be an amazing uh, gift for somebody. Or even the gift of a home healthcare worker that they can come over a couple times a week and cook them dinner or live at home with them or, or check in with them a couple days a week. How about a flying lesson? How amazing would that be? To one of my friends is, um, she took a flying lesson on a helicopter and she got her pilot's license and she has a pink helicopter. I kid you not. We love you, Shannon. Um, and again, you could also, which is awesome, you could, you could gift someone a surprise visit from their loved ones. Maybe they have not seen their grandparent for a long time or a parent or a sister or brother, a friend from college, you name it. Gift someone a gift of a travel voucher so they can go and see them or they can you can surprise your loved one with a gift of bringing that person to them that would be amazing and very appreciated because as we know we just love people and um, being around people with this day and age is very special and um, an experience sometimes is better than just a straight gift another really fun thing to do is to download the cameo.com app or just go to cameo.com and you can actually get a celebrity to make a message for your friend and it's on video and people laugh and it's really fun to have but it's, it's the actual celebrity it can kind of depend on how much it, it can be expensive it ranges from 50 to 75 all the way up to the high hundreds depending on who it is and what the content is but cameo.com and back to those wine lovers maybe you can't afford to give someone a gift experience for Napa Valley or Temecula or anywhere in upstate New York the wine valleys what have you you can get a vine box shipment. They can range from $65. It's getvinebox.com. And it actually mimics the experience of a wine tasting class, but in the privacy of your own home. And every mail order box comes with nine different wines packaged in single serving vials. And if they like one in particular, they can order more. Um, if not, it's on to the next glass, but they come in vials. It's very interesting. And um, you can also do, for the chefs in your life, a molecular gastronomy kit, or if someone's just into science. And that would be from UncommonGoods.com from $49. And the home kit will become like a chemistry kit for your, for your chef. And this comes with instructions on how to be a mad scientist chef and sachets of food additives to make it happen. Like, for example, they can make something like, you know, the, the ice cream that's molecular or turn a salad dressing into a powder. It's really interesting. I love molecular gastronomy. It could be a, you could do a master class, all access pass, and that's masterclass.com. And again, as we've seen in the commercials, it teaches everything. Like Gordon Ramsay will teach a cooking class. Annie Leibovitz teaches photography. Steph Curry teaches basketball techniques. The list goes on and on. And masterclass is $180 for one year, which is a pretty good deal when it comes to all the classes that you can actually get. And an uncommon goods virtual experience. There are so many things that you can be learned on that can be learned online, like astrology, mixology, magic, and beyond. And that would be uncommongoods.com. And it's an uncommon goods virtual experience. And the cheapest one is $25, so it doesn't break the bank. Again, back to those blue apron subscriptions, they can be from $60 on blue apron. Um, how about a hunted killer box? Any true crime junkie that's got a, quite a few. You know, there's quite a few of us from Netflix and we love the true crime dramas. A Hunt for a Killer has to offer a great mystery, murder mystery board games with clues that come all at once or a regular basis in the mail, depending on what kind of gift you decide to get. And that's huntakiller.com. H-U-N-T-A-K-I-L-L-E-R.com. Huntakiller.com. Again, the class pass is great. That'd be classpass.com for all the boxing, spinning, aerobics, any type of thing you want to do in your city. How about a Rosetta Stone lifetime membership that can be $299 on Amazon? You can get unlimited versions of any type of language for the people that love to travel, that love languages. That would be a great, a great gift. 
a bourbon nosing kit. That can be around $69 on bespokepost.com. And if you know their, if people know their beam from their whistle pig and they're interested in advancing their whiskey drinking experience without going to Louisiana or Tennessee or any of these areas, Kentucky, ooh, oh, I've been to all those places. Amazing at those bourbon factories and those, oh, I just love them. bourbon and whiskey. Count me in. And they can, with these bourbon nosing kits, they can identify all the all spices from tobacco and honey to, to the vanilla and everything in between. Oh, so wonderful. And you can do a black literature book subscription. This is at CrateJoy.com. And this library-inspired quarterly book box shines a light on black literature and authors of African diaspora, supplying your gift tree with a new, or gift you with a new reading material that they can devour. And there are cool themed items as well. So that is black literature and authors of African diaspora. And that's CrateJoy.com. How about if someone's really sick of their apartment or house and they can, they just want to upgrade it. I myself definitely want to kind of change some of my interior in my place since I, since I had broken my leg and my arm and my foot and everything like that. I'm just sick of my place and I want some changes. Well, you can gift them what's called havenly.com and it's an interior design upgrade. It can range from $79 and if you're sick of your home, Havenly is a personalized interior design service that pairs your giftee with a designer who will help them revitalize their space with a new concept, layout, and decor ideas. And they can make ordering and furniture new easy, but I just want like a different outlook on my place. Or you can gift someone an exclusive Reese event. Reese caters to the person who craves a night or morning or afternoon out on the town, drinking in the good life through exclusive restaurant, bar, and otherwise foodie-centric events. For instance, a sake tasting in Brooklyn, or a Wu Tang, Wu Tang, and Wing Nights in D.C., or a Southern Smoke Benefit dinner in Houston. And this would be Reesey.com, and you could order, and it ranges from all areas. But it's it's fun, it's experiential. How about a hard seltzer making kit? This this can range from $49.98 at Huckberry.com. The average drinker of White Claw, True Recess, Bone, and Beef. Millions of hard seltzer brands are promoting American culture right now, and you can make it yourself at home. Again, a day spa. You can go to spafinder.com, an adventure of their choosing. Go to virginexperiencegifts.com, and they can pick out anything they want, or you can pick something for them. A personal stylist, if you can't get to your local area, um, or if you live in an area that doesn't have a lot of style, you can, you can order on trunkclub.com and get them a stylist. An Airbnb experience, again, we talked about airbnb.com. Online guitar lessons from Fender, we did talk about the music lessons. You can go to fenderplay.com. How about a VIP tour of Paramount Studios or any studio in your area? Whether you live in New York, LA, Atlanta, Chicago, you can go to paramountstudiotour.com or any of those other theme parks. You can get, again, a National Parks yearly pass, and that can range from $80 to usgs.gov that is usgs.gov how about a curated vinyl subscription spotify's algorithm can only do so much for anyone with a turntable and a vinyl subscription is room, especially for those musicians or collectors this one in particular because it's a, it's a each record is a curated playlist of songs from new undiscovered artists who deserve playtime and that is at createjoy.com as well a curated vinyl subscription a free meal at home. You can do this with DoorDash.com or any other, like Postmates.com, anything else in that area. How about a Saatchi art subscription? This can range from $30,000. So if that's not in your budget, I understand. And that's at SaatchiArt.com. But some there are some art lovers out there that will stop at nothing to, to get any type of art um, via subscription. And now it is a pricey gift, but that would be, that is S A A. T C H I A R T dot com. Sachi Art Subscription. Again, a stadium sports tour. You can book that through Ticketmaster.com and the prices vary. And a city scavenger hunt. This is amazing. I've done this before. You can roam <clears throat> it's called Let's Roam. Has a library of scavenger hunts set up in cities across the US. If you're giving a gift to someone who loves a challenge or just move to a new city, how cool is that? You could also get get them a personalized candle. There's a lot of candle companies that have a state on a candle. Um, and that could be a little gift with that tour or a t-shirt with the state on it. And that is at letsroam.com, L-E-T-S-R-O-A-M.com. Or maybe they've been in their city for ages and they're sick of it. Well, you could get them that gift and it would revive their love of that city. 
Besides the major car rental, like Platinum Motorsports or renting a sports car for the day, you could also do a vintage car rental, which is amazing. And it's like Airbnb for the vintage cars. And that's at driveshare.com. A lot of people would love that. And you can just dress up like the 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, whatever era that's in, and go to a drive-in movie, go to a drive-in restaurant or diner. That would make it even more fun as an experiential. How about a shaker and spoon cocktail kit? Um, if you can't get them to your local mixologist or sommelier or brewmaster, um, you can take you can get them shakerandspoon.com, and every month a gift will come with instructions and ingredients so they can build crafty cocktails. Really cool thing. Or a private museum tour. We talked about this, and you can get a private tour in any of the following cities, which would be New York, Chicago, LA, San Francisco, and DC, and that's at museumhack.com. M-U-S-E-U-M hack.com. And that ranges from $59. Again, a, a night in a luxury hotel. You can go to table, hotel, table t hotels.com and that would be a luxurious night. And the prices, of course, vary, and that's all over the world. Um, Fathom events tickets. This is not everyone can live in a thriving cultural capital. So people in smaller towns, Fathom Events brings films and filmed live events to movie theaters around the country allowing ticket holders access to the Metropolitan Opera, Broadway musicals, or rare screenings of movies like Spirited Away. And that would be fathomevents.com, F-A-T-H-O-M-E-V-E-N-T-S.com. We're almost done, and it could be a tingly travel experience, and that's T-I-N-G-G-L-Y.com. It's not really feasible to spend to send a friend or loved one on a vacation, but if you have something planned for themselves, but you can give Tingley's Best in the World Activities Package, which gives them hundreds of experiences like helicopter tours, spa days, and cavings um, to choose from in countries all around the world. And it's valid for five years, and it'll make your next trip even more awesome. Or how about a meditation experience? Achieving peace of mind is just about as in a, it's improbable as winning the lottery these days, but given the right tools, it gets a whole hell of a lot easier. And Muse provides these tools, a high-tech headband that tra- tracks brain activity and gives live feedback during meditation. And that can be purchased, a little expensive, at choosemuse.com, C-H-O-O-S-E-M-U-S-E.com, and that is a meditation experience. Again, I mentioned skydiving. You can go to skydiving, skydivegc.com. And again, these are probably over 100 things that I mentioned that it goes anywhere from the art lover to the people who are romantic and sexual to people that love cooking and cooking classes and drinking and going out on the town. Maybe they love style. Maybe they love sports and any kind of, or, or they love fast cars, fast guns. They want to go to the shooting range, things like that. You can test your, test your limits with machine gun firings at a place where it's obviously indoor and regulated. But all of this is not a gift that you open, but something that you can experience. And with all the supply chain issues and things not coming in, we're in a different world right now. And life is too short. And what fun experiential gifts. And it's more fun to give. I mean, they'll remember this gift over something else. Like anybody can get someone a red shirt or a a pair of socks and a tie. That's great too, but give them a gift of an experience. And it makes you bond with that person and brings you closer together. And we just love that, especially during the holidays or after the holidays. So I hope this provided you with some fun ideas and maybe some affordability that you can spend less money and use the experience in a much cheaper way. And use these ideas and use your own creativity. Maybe it sparked something interesting that is much cheaper, but maybe it sparked an interest in something that is along that same line. So I wish you all a fabulous two and a half or three weeks of um, shopping and figuring out the gifts and um, just know that it's not just about a gift. It's about you as a person and people love you and you love people and um, just I wish you the very best of this holiday season in all shapes and forms. So thank you again so much for joining me on another episode of SoCal Sweat and I wish you a long happy holiday season until my next podcast of course. Okay thank you. Good night. We appreciate you for listening and please rate and subscribe to the show on iTunes. You can also listen on Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, Luminary, Tuned In, or at Believe.com. You can always reach out to me for anything you'd like covered on the show at Ann McDaniels or at Ann McDaniels Actress. And I'll see you next time on SoCal Sweat.